Okay, how to count atoms in a molecule. Second example, Ca bracket NO3 bracket 2. So this is kind of always confusing to students at first because the 2 actually goes for the O and for the N. So essentially this means there's two of whatever's in the bracket. So you could have written this Ca NO3 and there's another NO3. So these are the same thing. This is saying there's two NO3s. And you might even have just gone, well, why couldn't I have just gone CAN12, 2, and 3 plus 3 is 6? Why couldn't I have written that? And all three of them are actually correct. But as you'll find out, this tells you something about the shape of the molecule later on. But for right now, let's figure out how do you figure out the number of atoms of each element are in this? So you make that table. Uh, so you got your atom and you got your number. And there's Ca, calcium. There's an N and there's an O. So there's no number here, so we assume it's one. Which we know it's one. There's no number there, so there's one N, but there are two groups with one n each. So what it is the one times the two equals a total of two atoms of nitrogen. And then for the oxygen, there are three oxygens for every nitrogen, but there are two groups that each have three oxygens for every nitrogen. So it's three times two. So it's three, because there's three oxygens, but two groups of them, and that equals six. So in total, this is going to have 6 plus 2 plus 1, and that is 9 atoms.